Hi everyone, my name is Ian and this is my video series on how to create music with technology. So how is technology used in music? Let's take a moment. How do you experience music? A lot of you probably listen to your favorite songs with your phone or your computer, but how did they get there? And how can you make your own music and share it with your friends or just enjoy it for yourself? There are a lot of paths towards doing this and there isn't really a wrong answer. Later in this series, we'll be exploring some technology that you can use to make music using a regular computer. But today, I'm here to tell you a little bit of background on how technology has been used for music and to give a preview of some of what we'll be working on. Technology has been used to create, record, and playback music for nearly 150 years. In the late 1800s, the invention of the microphone and the phonograph allowed people to record music, translating sound into specialized grooves on a wax or metal cylinder. When someone put the cylinder into a phonograph, it would spin against a needle, which would then translate those unique grooves back into sound. Pretty cool, right? Later, these wax cylinders were replaced with large grooved discs, which you might recognize as records. Since then, we've had several inventions designed to translate music from a live setting to a recording and then back to you, the listener. Cassette tapes, CDs, and even streaming services like Spotify or Apple Music are all ways of translating music in this way. Today, we can often create music digitally, basically meaning that we turn sound into a computer file, which can then be read by a computer, phone, or other device, and turned back into sound. A lot like how sound was turned into grooves on a wax cylinder that could be read by the phonograph, which turned it back into sound. With me so far? Songs today are usually made up of several files. A group of musicians might record the singer. That's a file. They might record the guitar. That's a file. They might record the drums, that's a file, and they might record everyone together. That's another file. These files are everywhere. Even the words I'm saying to you right now are files. People can put these files together however they want and change them in all sorts of ways using a DAW or digital audio workstation. A DAW is a type of software designed to put sound files together in a song or other project. I used a DAW to actually make sound for this video. Today there are all kinds of DAWs and many of them are available to everyone for free. The DAW we'll be looking at in this series is called LMMS. We'll also be looking at a software called MuseScore that can turn written music into audio that you can listen to, and also how MuseScore and LMMS can interact. I know it sounds like a lot right now, and that's okay. We have plenty of time to get there, and we'll start by exploring some elements of written music in MuseScore during our next video. Thanks for watching. My name's Ian, and this is my series on creating music with technology.